Hello everyone. I am Dr. Pani Madhuri, Consultant Fertility Specialist, Obstetrician and Gynecologist working at Kiran Fertility Center, Bangalore. Is it possible to have high AMH levels and no PCOS? Well, I would say a borderline AMH level of around 3.5 to 4 in some instances with other parameters being normal like normal LH levels and normal ovarian volume and no polycystic pattern on the scan can sometimes be possible but uh, it's not very usual but uh, if there are no other signs of polycystic ovaries and slightly borderline AMH I think that that is not much to worry in fact you need to worry when the AMH levels are lower than the normal that is one thing that kind of cautions the doctor and the patient in terms of a declining fertility but a borderline high AMH level and if you don't have added features of polycystic ovaries I think there is absolutely no need to worry and you can just ignore it as a part of a normal variation and just move on